Hi guys, this is Elliot from Little Pumpkin Bowl here, and today we're interviewing Exodus, Stephen. Let's do this. What's happening? Let's do this, Let's Elliot. Rock, let rock this. Let's bang our heads, right? Yeah. How are you guys doing, and how is your tour going so far? We're great. We have no problems. We're having so much fun, and the tour is so much fun being with King Diamond. And uh, the two bands have been around for many years, and we've always wanted to do a tour together. So it worked out really well that this year that they put Exodus and King Diamond on the same bill. Sounds awesome. I'm so jealous. <laughs> Was it easy to get the perfect sound on your album? The overall sound came out great. We uh, work with Andy Sneap, who's been the producer since uh, 98 for the live record, Another Lesson in Violence. And um, Andy pretty much knows what we are going for. And then us being 30 years in the business, we know what we're going for. So um, it's kind of a dis exodus sound is very distinctive. So yes, we do. We know what we're going for. and We know the right people to work with us to, to achieve that for sure. Cool. Your voice sounds amazing. How do you sound so well after singing for all these years? A lot of sleep. A lot of sleep. <laughs> Chocolate milk, pancakes, nowadays. And it's just, uh, I, I take care of myself. I try to eat right. I try to uh, worry about only my performances so that I'm not, you know, out too late at night doing things I shouldn't be doing and I'm just, you know, having a good time with it. And so a lot of sleep and to take care of myself while I'm out on the road, eat right, you know, drink good liquids all every day, not all necessarily the bad liquids all the time, but the good ones. Okay. Also, I know that you um, like ACDC. I hear some in some of your music when you sing, it's like AC, it's like the singer from ACDC. Yeah, I, I Thank you, Elliot, for noticing that. At 11 years old, that's quite amazing. Um, I love ACDC, especially the Bon Scott era ACDC. So when I started singing when I was a kid, I tried to model my voice after my hero, who was Bon Scott. So if you see, hear my voice, there's a lot of times where you'll, there'll be parts where it does sound very old school ACDC. -ish. So yeah. good eye, good eye, <laughs> young man. What what's the best concert that you've ever been to? Uh, best concert I ever been to, I'd have to say my first concert, which was Kiss, the day Elvis died, and so it was kind of special. I was 13 years old. It was in August. It was hot. The end of the summer was coming. I was about just about ready to go into eighth grade, and uh, Ken Orman's mom took me and him and Terry Lowe to the Cow Palace in San Francisco, and I saw Kiss on the Love Gun tour. That was pretty amazing. That, that must have been awesome. 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 That was when Gene would get on the platform and go all the way up to the top of uh, the Cow Palace and sing God of Thunder and then Ace would put his guitar on the string and whoosh, it would shoot off and it was like way when their theatrics were at their height. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it sounds awesome. Your song No makes me want to go crazy. What is it about? Okay, um, that is my favorite song on the album that we do, so I'm glad you like that. Um, Numb is about um, all the bad things that happen in the world, and they're always happening over and over again, like just the incident in Paris last week. It seems like all these things are always happening, and the view of the song is like we're just numb to all the bad things and it doesn't even affect us anymore because we're just so numb to all the bad things that are happening around in society and in the world and everything yeah I'll have to agree with you Thank do you, you do you worry about staying safe on tour after seeing the scary stuff in the recent news that's what they want to do, huh? They want to terrorize us and scare us. I can't, I can't fall into that. We actually, Exodus has a tour lined up for uh, February, March, and we are going full-blown over to Europe to, to go. I, I can't worry about that. I can't let the terror, terrorists try to strike terror in us so that we won't 
go and do a tour. I know there has been a couple of American bands that have come back home in the last couple of weeks. I heard. I know the Foo Fighters have canceled their tour, and I know Lamb of God left the Children of Bodom tour, which I understand. I totally understand it, and I don't, you know, I, if that's the way you feel, then that's the way you, what you should do, but we've already talked about this. We're going over there. We're going there to, to have a great time with our fans, and, and this is what we do, and we can't let the terrorists, you know, try to shut that down, Then they're, they're winning, and that's exactly what they're doing, and we're not going to let them win. Exodus isn't going to let them win. Yeah. I'll have to that's another thing I'm going to definitely agree with you on. <laughs> what are some of you, your favorite movies of all time? Everybody who knows me knows that I love horror. But I love classic horror, any type of horror. I'll go to the Walmart and buy the 10 horror movies in the $5 bin and watch every one of them. I love those. But I'm very much into classic horror. And so my favorite movie of all time is The Exorcist. But then, obviously, if you looked at my tattoos, the original... Frankenstein, yeah. the original Dracula, the original Bride, and then this one always throws people for a loop. I love The Omen. Those are like my five top favorite movies. And so the I spend Omen, though, right? the original Omen with Lee Remick and, and Gregory Peck, definitely. Lovely. Yeah, I, I like the um, Frankenstein, but I don't really like Exorcist. I only I saw one little picture of like that face, of, of, and then, then I, I didn't. <laughs> when the movie came out, I was nine when the movie came out, and it's, I remember it, people were scared to go home and go to sleep at night because it was that terrifying. And as you get older, Elliot, and you watch that movie, you'll understand it. That's, the things that are haunting in that movie, are pro you're probably, as being a young man, naive to those things. Am I right? And boy, as you get older, you will see how... That movie really resonates in true horror fashion. Any news on when you will start your, to make your next record? Well, as you know, Gary also plays in Slayer, and he's pretty much a really main songwriter of Exodus, if anybody. He's been on every Exodus record. So um, since Repentless has just come out, we haven't really talked about it, and we have so much booked for next year. Uh, on tour already, we haven't really discussed it, but if I was to, to pull it out, I'd probably say look for a new Exodus record in the middle of 2017, towards the end. So yeah, we haven't started writing anything. I'm just trying to look ahead at the timeline, but I can't guarantee that. I'm just saying if I was to look at how things have gone, that's probably be when we'd be looking for a new Exodus album. I'll be looking forward to the uh, next Exodus. I know you will. Oh. Not Exodus. The um, next Exodus record. <laughs> the next ex Exodus record. Awesome. If you could only have one record from each of these bands, which one would it be? Metallica. Ride the Lightning. Slayer. South of Heaven. Iron Maiden. Killers. Judas Priest. Stained Class. King Diamond. Abigail. Black Sabbath. Masters of Reality. I like Paranoid. Oh. I love it too. <laughs> I was I almost said Paranoid, <laughs> but I just wrestled Masters of Reality later and I love Into the Void, so that's why I picked that one. And Exodus. <laughs> blood in, blood out. Yeah. Great choices. Is there anything you'd like to add? No, just thanks for coming out and hanging out with us today and thank all the fans of Exodus that have been supporting us and all our new fans that watch your show and like to listen to you interview all the killer bands. Come see Exodus, we'll be around. And thank you so much, I'm looking forward to the, to the show. Can't wait to see you in the pit, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs>